Hi and welcome to Type with Me. In this video I will talk about object spread properties. So in this tutorial I will show you all about the spread operator within TypeScript. So for that we start with a to-do basic and then we're gonna create a variable teaching. So now we're going to start using the spread operator. So we do that with dot dot to do basic. And when we hover over teaching, we see that he has the properties completed and level. So he has now completed false and level one. So we're going to extend it now with property name. teaching spread within TypeScript. We also can declare now another one called relaxing. So after this tutorial you can relax with a glass of wine for example. It's always nice, right? So now we can add here some console logs to print out our results in the console, right? Now we will build it with command shift B. And then we can execute it to get the following results. So we have an object teaching with teaching spread within TypeScript, and we have an object relaxing with relaxing with glass of wine. We can also very easily merge multiple objects. So we have, for example, here a completed to do with completed true and time new date. But indeed, we have two of the same properties here, right? We have one with completed false and one with completed true. So here I will have completed to do as a second. And here I want to have it as a first one. So we built our code. And then we execute our code. And you will see that the first one has completed true and the second one has completed false. So he always takes the last one. The property of the last one when you have two of the same property names that you want to merge right so keep that in mind another great thing to know is that you can create shallow copies out of the spread operator so we can do that here with const another to do And then we can print out to see if another to do is the same as to do basic. I also gonna comment out the previous console logs because that's not important for the moment. And now I'm going to build my code. And of course here 
we're going to execute it and you will see that it's false. So we can very easily copy and clone it into another object uh, without being it's the same object, right? So we can shallow copy our object. And that's great, right? It was a pleasure to have you here in this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.